In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a bootable Ghost CD. Now, before we do this, we need to run some tests. So, we're going to run tests virtually to make sure that at the end we get a good uh, bootable disk. So, for this, we're going to use four software, which is Microsoft Virtual PC, Oracle Virtual Box, Ultra ISO, and WinImage. You need to download it and install. I place a link in the description box below. Now go to bootdisk.com and here download the DOS Windows 9X boot disk. I'm going to download the Windows 98 OEM Mirror 1. For this website, I also placed a link in the description box. Click, save, save it in your desktop. Done. Close. Now close the website. And here it is, boot98.exe. Now we are going to extract that to your desktop. So right click and extract here. If it comes out if it comes up an error, don't worry, don't mind this, everything is fine. Just click close. And here's my uh, boot 98 files in an image. Now I'm going to open this image and it's going to open using Win Image Program. So, what I'm going to do is extract it to my desktop. Click on Image and then extract extract all files into the same folder browse I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it extracted 98 uh, files extract the win 98 shorter click OK and click OK I'm gonna close here and here is my extracted win 98 folder double click to open perfect now we're gonna use some of this uh, that says files. Go ahead and click on new on the desktop folder and call this non bootable folder because we have to test it before we create an ISO. Now with a non boot folder created we go back to the extracted win 98 folder and select auto exec that bat command that com config that sys io.sys and msdos.sys make sure you get them all five right click copy and paste it into the non bootable folder perfect Now double click to open. I'm going to make this narrow so we can see. And we have all five. Now go to the ebd.cap, double click there. And since this is a zip folder, we can't right click and uh, copy and paste. We have to drag. So just drag it into the non boot folder. Restart.com.
now we're going to add the ghost.exe to the non-boot folder go to your CD open look for your ghost program right click and copy into your non-boot folder paste perfect now we're gonna close the CD and close the ext extracted Win98 folder leaving us with a non-boot now we're gonna right click auto exec that bat and click on edit right click edit in here we're going to remove all content and type this information this information is in the description in my website just click on the link below I'm gonna have two one for the non bootable and one for the bootable auto accept and config that sys so just type that information and save that information close it and confirm by, by saving the information now right click config.sys and click edit here we're not going to remove all content just leave it like that close it and save Now I'm going to move it to a side and open Win Image. Click OK. And now here, I'm going to click on New. And then select the 1.44 megs because my content doesn't exceed 1. 1.4 megs I'm gonna leave it at 1.4 megs sometimes your ghost is a little bigger so you might use the 2.80 I'm gonna select all the content from the non bootable folder and drag it to my win image when it asks you to if you're sure you want to inject it click yes then click image click on boot sector properties make sure you click on Windows 98 95 whether whatever operating system you have it doesn't matter don't click on, on on Windows 7 for example you have to click on Windows 95 98 very important now once you do that save it select your desktop and I'm gonna call this non boot image right here drop down box select image file and save perfect now I have my non bootable image here Now we're going to access that bootable image with Oracle VirtualBox. Double click to initiate. If you don't have anything created, just click on new. Click next. And now I'm going to leave the default settings so I'm not going to customize anything. Here select Windows 98. Type the name that you want. I'm going to type Win 98 and click next leave it at default and click next I'm gonna select use existing I'm sorry create a new hard disk and click next click next again to confirm I'll select fix size storage I don't want no dynamic storage 
click next leave it as default and click next finish is creating my hard drive my virtual hard drive I'll click finish again and now I have my Windows 98 virtual box so click on storage in storage I'm gonna add a controller click on the plot not this one the the one to the right right here and I'm gonna select add a floppy controller this is just to test my image now I'm gonna add here a floppy choose disk and my disk is going to be the non boot image that I save in my desktop right here select it click open here it is click OK now click on start <coughs> booting Windows 98 and yep perfect so so far my uh, Norton boot disk is coming out per perfect so this is good this is a good sign you always test it before because if you do the the ISO and it doesn't work then you have to redo everything again so it's good to test it halfway now let's uh, make this ghost so I can use my mouse so I'm gonna organize this my non boot folder right beside my non boot image now if I wanna use my mouse in the ghost program we have to go back to the bootdisk.com website and here look for make a DOS boot disk get your mouse working in DOS click there this is not very important but some computers it, the ghost program won't run if it doesn't have a mouse that says so click over here where it says download mouse.com save it in your desktop select desktop and click save click close and then close the website now we have mouse.com down here good now copy mouse.com into your non boot folder paste it and we're gonna right click and add a new notepad or text document open your text document inside the non-boot folder 